Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Assault Kingdom. We have the EX7 Cubelay. Now this is one uh, kind of like special since it's a bigger box, it's a bigger mobile suit. We have the Cubelay here. Very interesting design. Um, heads up, I'm no little or not at all about the Cubelay. I don't know what I've seen from games. I haven't really got a chance to watch the show either from Zeta or Double Zeta Gundam. Yeah. But nonetheless, um, I do like the design. Uh, it's quite unique. Yeah, the giant shoulder uh, binders has that long uh, head or crest. And then you have that flare on the legs. <laughs> yep. And uh, interesting enough, uh, the core is black. Although I thought it was white. And then uh, you have the colors here on the side. It's that pink color. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, uh, here's the box. Uh, let's open it up. Got mine from Ami Ami. And okay, there we go. I actually don't really care much for the box. <laughs> you get to the point where you get so much of them, you can't really keep the box. Oh wow. So we do get the individual clear pieces for the bits. That's amazing. And they're both joined on the ends. And it seems like we're gonna be using that. As well as this ring. Hmm. Got your candy toy. And again, uh, if you get this uh, through an Asian store, uh, whether online or locally, you're probably gonna get a candy toy. But if you get it here in the US, more than likely they're gonna be distributed without the candy toy. Or without candy. It's still called a candy toy though. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's uh, actually a dark purple. It's not uh, black. Put the head here. Interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and open it up. And grab my uh, powder here. Oh, I thought they're gonna keep doing that. From what I recall, they have it so that you don't have to cut this. I guess they reverted back. Probably too many complaints of things missing. <laughs> Alright, so as I take this out of the plastic, uh, I just decided to have this all in one video. Well, try. Oh, they even plastic them individually, I guess, just to protect the paint. It's pre painted on the other side with pink. You got the purple there. Nice, very nice. And okay, so they have a special way of wrapping these things. They just uh, put it on, on the other side. There we go. I believe you're supposed to alternate them. Yeah, Kibley's shoulder design is just quite unique. All right, so uh, we have this here. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it first, then go over articulation. And okay, we have a neck hinge. We get some excess glue there. Nice. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. Hmm. I kind of wish you could move this. I guess you can't. Alright, so we got this here. Whoops. Each one has their own uh, joint. And how are you gonna put this on? Hmm. That's. Yeah, that, that could be a problem for other people. Because <laughs> you gotta make sure that joint does not move while you put this on. Maybe if I just do this. Once well with this joint. Maybe you can just pop it out. Oh, okay. There we go. That's a lot easier. Maybe. Alright, so um, as I struggle through this, I can't really think of anything else to say. And then I'm struggling to do this. 
There we go. I got it in there. Alright, so... We got that. Oh, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this, this could be a little problem for some... Not friendly to put that on. Alright, uh, I think might as well just uh, cut this and do the other side. You know what? I have a feeling. What if you just put them all together like this? You gotta do this both at the same time. Does that work? And that's for one side. I think that's how you're supposed to put this on. There's probably instructions inside. Which I'm too lazy to open. Hey, can I get this one in? Ah. This, it's back to back. And I got one on. This one is not letting me in. For some weird reason. Okay, got that in, but... There we go. Nah. At the, I thought I got it. Alright, this is probably the easiest way. So you just kind of line up on that corner right there. There we go. And, yeah. That seems to work. Alright. Um, we got more stuff here. We got this. The butt area. That's where actually all the funnels comes out. Or the bits. So I guess you can mount in point there and there as well. Huh. With the beam saber. No, actually this comes out of the hands. No. Well. He's probably just holding it. Oh, okay. He's holding it like a beam saber. Alright. Get that out of the way. Yeah, I want to show that first. Oh, that's just great. Uh, how come it doesn't go in? Good thing it's rubber. <laughs> Something tells me this is going to be a long review. Oh, it ended up popping it from there. I wonder how strong that peg is. Yeah, you gotta be careful on this. Do not... Yeah, try, do, try not to hold it too far. Or, well, you gotta hold it. It'll stay in your hand, otherwise it won't. Okay, so... Eh, I'm not so sure that's a good way of... Uh, it looks so weird. But anyways... You do have du dual uh, beam savers. There we go. Not too bad, I guess. Um, I guess the rest is for the stand. Alright, so uh, articulation wise, we have the neck here. It's a combination of the ball joint underneath, as we've seen before, and a hinge on the base of the neck. And that kind of gives us fairly good articulation uh, for the most part. Again, we got this flexible part here, which is good. Now we have the shoulder binders here. Uh, they do have that hinge uh, mechanism there. It's in that bowl joint. You can move this around. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. There we go. And uh, you can even uh, kind of cover up uh, his body. Kind of reminds me of Kshatriya, kind of like a shield. Yep. Really nice. Uh, moving on, we have the shoulder here, which is just, I think it's just a straight peg. I haven't really, yeah, I think it's a straight peg, a ball joint after that. I have get the swivel on the bicep right there, get the elbow bend. Yeah, quite nice. Um, there is some paint apps here and there. I think this pink is painted. I'm trying to think. I'm not sure 
Yeah, I'm not sure how that pink is painted. Uh, maybe it's white. They painted pink on top of it, then they painted that gray for that joint right there. Actually, no, actually the whole plastic is in that color. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Not too sure how that's uh, constructed. <laughs> and then uh, you have this purple uh, core. That's probably just showing black here, but it's really dark purple. And uh, this is gray pieces here. Actually, let me see if I can uh, adjust my camera. Alright, I tried adjusting my camera. I cannot capture that really dark purple, but it's there. Uh, the pipes running through here. Uh, there are a darker shade of gray, as well as the abdomen there. Yep, that's a different color. And that's something that you have to see in person. It's kind of sh hard to show in camera. Moving on, we have the side score here, uh, made of that rubbery plastic. Uh, it is connected on the waist, that collar right there. Front skirt, or this front part here, is static. It's affixed to the waist. The back side, we have this joint system here, kind of just pegs in. There we go. Actually, even pegged it up here too. Hmm. And it's kind of weird. It makes it look more like a backpack, but it depends on you. But well, supposedly it's supposed to be here. It just kind of sticks out a little bit more than it should. Moving on, we have swivel here on a tie. You move it forward. Is that the joint system? Hmm, that's really small joint. Interesting. This is static for the knee armor. Kind of wish it was movable, but uh, you have that much knee bend. Not too bad. Uh, you do seem to uh, see that seam line there. It's kind of unsightly even here. Oh. <laughs> it is a candy toy. Yeah, as much as we wanted to make it look awesome, yeah, it is a candy toy. Oh, probably can fix that, but that's that. On the back side here, we have the gray piece here again. Uh, this part here is the dark purple. Then you have the feet here. Let's get some uh, hinge for the ankle movement. Uh, quite nice. You could have him on that uh, kind of tilted back position here for flight mode. Yeah, it's this cubula is really, uh, really great. It's nicely articulated. And it's just a nifty uh, small version of it. Really cool. All right, so uh, we went over articulation. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's go with other accessories. All right, next part we have the base. You get a clear base here. We got this portion here, which we can connect here. So this is one of those that you have to disassemble each time you want to move that joint. Uh, it is quite tall, quite nice. All right, so uh, you do have an option. Uh, there's two ways to mount these bits. Uh, these bits are nice. I don't think you can detach this part here. It seems like this is painted on, but I could be wrong on that one. But uh, this is nice. Might uh, help a little bit to paint kind of like the thruster effect parts are underneath there. But uh, yeah, really nice. Now you do have this option here to pop the ball joint in here which gives you the peg and you can mount it on here so uh, let's do another one here and that's yeah you have a lot of connection points here you do have let me count here you got four uh, you got nine uh, oh wait no six uh, ten so 10, I can't count. We have 10 of these bits and you have one, two, three, four. And you could put four on each side. So that's eight or you can even put one. Does that peg in on the bottom too? No, that's not, but there seems to be some peg connection there. Yeah, so there's plenty of uh, places that you can peg this in. So uh, let's just move it there. Even you can probably uh, have it so it's gonna move back a little bit. Let's pack in the cubelay. 
Right, so uh, mounting this on, let's see here. I guess you gotta mount it on the back side here. Again, you gotta adjust uh, this. There we go. And, uh, okay, this is the part where you have to angle this. It wasn't so clear on the instruction, but there we go. That angle and this one as well. There we go. And that just mounts on the back. Actually, that square part does go uh, underneath that back part there, so it's secure. It will not turn around. And we got Hublé with bits coming out. Really nice. And I knew it, I was mistaken. <laughs> All right, so actually, this one goes here. That's why it's odd. So my second attempt of repositioning there was right, so. Hmm. So I uh, will mount this here. No, nonetheless, uh, it's still kind of like the same. Uh, nice gimmick here. Now, there is this ring as well, and uh, you can put all 10 of them around, and we'll do that. So to do that, we'll take this out. Probably best to pop this out. You're going to be mounting it here. And I think it's best to put all of them first here. So uh, let's take out all of these. Pop this out. There we go. And I'm gonna put all of this here. All right, and uh, you're gonna have something like this. Um, this is actually quite nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> Usually I have uh, problems uh, with the stand, with the bits, quite cumbersome, but this is not too bad. And uh, you can actually, whoops, thought I broke it. Um, you can uh, tilt it and have that kind of like it's moving away from the center, which is really cool. That's one uh, one of the nice things about the cubelay. Get that spiral. All right, so uh, let's attach this. I think there's only one way to attach this, is this way. There we go. So we got this part here, and actually should have uh, moved it this way. Since that's the front of the cubelay. But uh, as you can see, it's very easy to manipulate those. Point this here on the back. There we go. And you got that really nice spiral. All right. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Oh, let, let me swap this out. Put this on here. There we go. There's something wrong with this uh, joint here. I have the same problem as... Yeah, I might have to make that... Uh, Huh. That really bugs me. Sometimes you just gonna give it a little bit of a nudge, and I'm scraping off the paint. Nice. <laughs> it's or it's possible that the pink. Okay, so the whole thing is white plastic, and you put paint on it. It's possible that the paint it's just too thick but since it's inside it doesn't really bug me I mean the joint on the wrist is white so nonetheless it's not gonna be too much of a problem scraping that paint off anyways I got this almost there I'll put this all on the back side here there we go and actually I was looking at the instruction one more time and this little connection on the base is actually for the hands if you're not using it so uh, that's really cool to have. So uh, let's put this away here. I mean, you only get two pairs, so there we go. You can stash that away. And let's put this again. Now I'm doing this review on another day. Uh, different from the where I started this video. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I already went over this, but might as well. So uh, this one, we have the beam saber, um, it's, it's all clear, uh, it could have been better. Um, yeah, let's just attach it here, there we go, and everything just collapsed. Oh, it's not a straight connection, anyways, 
let's put this back on here. There we go. All right. I think I got it. <laughs> and here we go. Uh, one more thing. Uh, these are the little pieces here for the side. There's only five of them. So you're, even if you try to put all of them on the side, it's not going to work since you only get five of those. But yeah, um, this is looking great. I really like the bits, how it comes out like that. Very easy to put on. And overall, I'm, I'm really liking this Cubile Assault Kingdom. I um, highly recommend getting it. Uh, I look great on your collection, especially if you're collecting Assault Kingdoms. Or if you're a fan of Zeta Gundam, or you just particularly like the Cubile. Here we go. Now I'm curious if they're going to make the other two versions of the Cubile. There, there was a Mark II, and there was like a red one. There was like a purple and a red one. Uh, if they make those, I'll be more inclined to buy them as well, since I, I really like how this come out. Just a few minor little details, like the uh, wrist connection there. Yeah. Anyways, that's about it for this review. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.